Hey everyone, what's up? This is Blaze. Welcome back to another episode of my fishing series. So, I have a couple of updates on my current fish catching that I wanted to go over. So, as you know, I crafted the Digmore mount. And in order to craft it, you need to catch 10 brain sturgeons. So, while I was catching all 10 of those, I actually uh, learned that the rank 6 resummon the pond uh, fishing spell is really really useful because uh, oh we also had to catch catfish which took me a little bit to catch but uh, blue didn't have the summon the fish spell because he's not rank six and uh, it was a lot more difficult for him to catch the fish that we needed for the pogo sticks to be able to craft them so I highly recommend if you aren't rank six to and you want to you know be able to catch epic fish and stuff like that I highly recommend just getting the summon fish spell by hitting rank 6 by catching easier fish and then going for it because for me catching those fish was a lot easier being able to resummon the pond. It costs 10 energy but if you have a decent amount of energy it shouldn't be that difficult. So a couple other fish that I caught in between last episode which was the Halloween episode and this episode. I caught the Sturgeon General if I could find him. Here he is. He's actually in the same pond as the brain sturgeon. He's just myth. He's the only myth there. So if you see a myth in the uh, entrance hall, then it will be the brain sturgeon, or not the brain sturgeon. It'll be the sturgeon general. If you see a life, there's a chance it's the brain sturgeon, but there's also a good chance that it's a life cuda. So that's how that went. I also went for the cranky catfish, and I caught that. It's an ice fish that is in the commons, so it's the epic fish that's in the commons. Took me a little bit to catch this, I don't know, wasn't that difficult, but I know for some people it was kind of difficult. So those are the two epic fish that we have caught right now. Now we are actually going for another epic fish today, which is, actually this isn't even an epic fish. Have I caught the Bubba fish? Let me check quick. Let me check for the Bubba fish. No, we haven't caught the Bubba fish. I think we may go for that one. But first, we're going to go for the mullet fish, which is in Shoshun Village. And I think I said that we were going to head over there. Actually, I think I said that like two episodes ago. Because uh, then we had the Halloween, the Halloween fish that we had to uh, catch those. So we are going to head over to Shoshun Village, which I'm hoping is this way. Yeah, it is. So... That is what we were going for today. I actually don't have the Bubba fish down as one of the fish. I kind of forgot about it. It's also an epic fish. And, uh, pretty sure it's in Shosun Village as well. It's probably myth like the mullet fish because they're kind of similar. They almost look the same. But let's just head over there and go for some myth, myth fish. And hopefully we'll catch it randomly. But, okay, so here it is. I guess it's just in this main pond area. First off, we're just going to go for some myth ones and see if any of these are the mullet fish. Okay, there's quite a few myth. Oh my gosh, yeah, there's a bunch of myth. Well, pretty much any fish I go for, it has a great chance of being a myth fish. So we're just going to start fishing for all of these. Let's go for this one first. I thought we fished here. It feels like we fished here before. I don't know. Maybe we have. But we don't have the mullet fish, and the mullet fish is in this pond, so... We're gonna have to catch it at some point. Might as well be now. But I plan on catching, like, hopefully four or five fish this episode. So, we'll start in Shoshan, because it's close. And it looks easy. I mean, all these fish are myth. I guess, is there a myth cuda? Yeah, there, there should be. Wow, this is taking forever. <laughs> I think that they can take up to like six... Six bobs to be able to catch the fish. What is it, the fabled decoy? Yeah. That took forever to catch just a fabled decoy, really? That's actually, I think it's pretty rare for the fish to take that long to catch. I can only remember like two times that's happened to me. I think one of them, wow, this, this fish is swimming pretty fast, I guess. 
One of the other times, I think it was last episode when I was catching the black catfish. It took me forever. And sometimes it takes a, a first try. Another decoy. There's really a bunch of decoys in this. But at least we know there's like a bunch of myths, so... One of them should be the mullet fish. But I think the bubble fish is ranked 2, so... Actually, the mullet fish is ranked 2. I just saw that. I should be using the rank 2 lure. Just make it easier to catch. Probably switch that after this. Still possible to catch a rank 2 fish with rank 1 lure, but... I think it just makes it easier with... The right lure. The other place that I wanted to go to today was the Ancient Burial Grounds. There's a couple fish over there that we haven't got yet. One of them is a decoy, like... Some of the decoys are only in certain areas. Doesn't mean they're rare, but... It's still a fish that we haven't caught yet. Come on, decoys, really? It's like five in a row? Go for this one. Yeah, we overshot that. Cause it's like moving towards me. There we go. Mullfish? Mullfish? Yes! <laughs> you gotta you just gotta call it, I guess. You just gotta call the mullfish. And he will speak to you. Business in the dorsal, party in the tail fin, commonly seen, grooving to loud music in Mushu. Right. 1400 for the mullet fish. So, I'm going to quickly go and look and see what the bubba fish is, just to make sure, so we're not, you know, chasing a fish that actually isn't here. So, I'm going to go check that quick, and I will be right back. Okay, so I checked up on the bubba fish, and I'm glad I did, because it is balanced, and it's in this area... However, it's kind of like the Sturgeon General, where it's the only uh, school, that type of school, in the pond. So if we see a balanced fish, it's most likely going to be the boa fish. So I don't see any. All we have to do is resummon. This is basically what I did in catching the brain sturgeons and the Sturgeon General, even though I wasn't really going for it. Resummon has to go all the way to the end of the pond, and we have new fish. Oh, I see it. I see it. You see it? Yep, I see it. Bubba Fish, is that you? You ready to be caught? Rank 2 balance. Looks like a good cast. Alright. Can't mess this up. Boom. It looks like the exact same as the mullet fish. A close cousin to the mullet fish. Or maybe it's more like an uncle. No one is quite sure. Typically found playing in the mud in Mushu. 1900 for that epic fish. So yeah, that is the one of the few epic fishes. There's like 10 of them, I think, around there. I think we've caught three, three or four. So... That is the epic Bubba Fish. Not too difficult if you have the Summon Fish spell because it only took me like one resummon. Could take longer if you get unlucky. But there's that. Okay. So the next place is going to be the Ancient Burial Grounds. I need to remember my Mushu knowledge and figure out where this is. Pretty sure it's to the right. Yeah, it is. Pretty sure it's this way. Through the temple. And we will be going for the Codfather. When I first saw the list of fish that you could catch, the Codfather was one of the, what I thought was one of the coolest looking ones. So, that'll be the fish that we're going for in the ancient burial grounds. It's not an epic fish or anything, it's just a regular fish, so. It is ranked 2, though. 
So, we will see how difficult he is to catch. So, Ancient Burial Grounds is to the right over there. Well, it's actually going to be my wizard's left. When we get to the center of this, whatever this thing is. It's like, it's not really a dock. It's kind of like a little temple that's in the middle of the, the pond. Yeah, I think we're making our way on catching most of the fish. I know we have a bunch of fish left in Grizzly, but I'm kind of trying to get... Wait, did I go the right way? Okay, not, kind of not really. I'm trying to get, like, a lot of the fish from Mushu done first, and then we'll head to Grizzleheim and get all those. I'm actually going the wrong way. Well, Vig Village of Sorrow is the other place that I wanted to go, so... We could go there, but I guess we'll go there last. I should mark here. Now all I have to do is remember that that mark is there for when we catch these two fish. Which I usually forget. In the pirate series, I always forget where my mark is. That's happened multiple times. And I've walked back and I pass my mark and I'm like, oh wow. That's unfortunate. Okay, where is the water around here? Must be that little pond under the bridge right there. Yeah. Is that the only place? I think it is. I don't think there's any water in the, like, crypts where the actual burial is so I think it's just right here so we're looking for death fish all right we got a good amount of death fish here so we'll just go for I'll go for this one hopefully I remember which which ones those are but I'm gonna use the rank 2 lure on this yeah, I can't see that at all I missed it. Don't swim away, please. Come on. Oh, he's swimming away. At least we can go around him. This guy's swimming really fast. Go okay, there. Pretty much guaranteed, I think we're going to catch one of the fish we haven't caught yet. Because they're both death. Okay, not guaranteed. I didn't know there was bonefish over here. <laughs> bonefish are everywhere. There's a lot of death fish that you can catch that are not ideal. Like the death kuda, for instance. Oh, come on, you can see that. Really? I'm gonna go for this bigger one. He seems more promising than that other fish that was like dodging my lure. Was that even a death fish? Yeah, it was. Maybe it was a rank one. Maybe it was the croated decoy. <laughs> That's probably why. Uh, let's go across the bridge. Wouldn't think it'd be that difficult to catch a corroded decoy. Even though, when we had to catch that jolted decoy, that took me a little bit. So, it's possible. It didn't see it at all. Don't turn your head. Okay. There's the corroded decoy. Most common see intentionally, unintentionally caught of all the death fish. Find them wherever in the spiral. Yep, not really though. I mean, I've caught other death fish and I've never caught a corroded decoy, so. Um, I don't think I can get over there. Let's go back this way. I should just reveal fish again. Godfather, where are you? Four death over here. Okay. 
Like, barely see the bobber. It's actually not hard to rely on sound for this fishing, though. Because it makes a noticeable sound when it goes under. What type of fish? Hmm. Since it got away, that's, that means it wasn't a rank 2 fish, so it probably wasn't the Codfather anyway. Bonefish. Or it could have been a bonefish, because I think bonefish are rank 1. I don't know what type of fish this is, we're going for it anyway. Another decoy. How many more death are in here? One. Are there any over here? So we have two left. Let's go for that one. Hopefully we get lucky with this and I don't have to resummon the pond. Come on, Codfather. You know you want to. No, not you, Bonefish. Our last hope. Which I can't even reach. I don't even know which fish it is. Yeah, we're just going to resummon, I guess. How much energy do we have? Oh, we have plenty of energy. Okay, I like the sign of this pond right here. They're all death. Though they're all like in the middle and in weird areas that I can't reach. Okay, I can reach this one. That's a bad cast though. Yeah, that's a horrible cast. Horrible cast! Let's get this one. That's kind of a bad cast too, unless it turns. Use your... Use your vision, come on. There we go. Okay. Use your fish vision. To see the lure. See, so yeah, I think we'll have time to catch one more fish after this. Which is in the Village of Sorrows. So we can hit my uh, goal of five fish today. Wow. Okay. I know the Codfather's in here. I'm just going to fish around, and I will cut to when we catch it. So I will see you guys then. Okay, there it is, finally. There's the Codfather. The Codfather. Some say the Codfather is a humble businessman. Or business fish, I'm sorry. He's not a man. <laughs> Others say he runs things in the waters of Mushu. The offers are hard to refuse. Yeah, that makes sense. He's a business fish. He's also got like a little mustache. Look at it. There it is. See it? All right. Finally, that is the Codfather. I actually had to fish out this entire side and didn't catch it. And then I went over here and it was the first fish that I caught. Most of these fish were death too, so good chance of catching it in a... Uh, well, in that resummon of the pond because it basically made all the fish death for me. So that was good. Okay. We have one more fish to catch yet in this episode. Let's head over to the Village of Sorrows. I need to check how many fish I have. Total 75. Okay, we're good. Alright. Village of Sorrow. It's right over here. Just one fish is over here that we need to catch. And that is the Jackson Pollock, which has an interesting look to it. So, we'll be going for that. It's a life fish. I should check what, like, rank we are. Or how close we are to the next rank. I guess it could be Jackson Pollock. I don't know. I don't know how you say it. Okay, where is the waters around here? Just right here?
Most of these life, yeah, there's some life fish. There's also some life fish over here. Let's catch this one first. It's rank two. So today's like rank two fishing day. So we've been using these lures all day. But I just hope he's not as hard to catch as the Codfather was, because he was Codfather was a little bit difficult. Took a few tries. I never get anything good from treasure chests. Can we get a cat tail? Wow. <laughs> Gives you a thousand gold though. It's okay. It's a decent amount of gold. Where's that other fish? Oh, he turned. I don't think it's gonna reach that far. No, it's not. No, no way. Wow, the fish turned, of course, every time. Looks good. I think we're rounding out all the fish of Mushu. I know there's a couple of places left that we haven't been. We're making some good progress in Mushu. Oh, this is a stormfish anyway. What am I doing? How much energy do I have left? Oh, I only have 38. We'll go for this one. Then I may have to reveal again. So I'm not going for the wrong fish. Yeah, you can see what type of fish it was if it gets away. Because it leaves like like the sparkles of storm or whatever type of school it is after it goes under the water. The same as if you reveal it. It leaves the same kind of marking. That's the mud decoy. Let's reveal again so I can tell. There's two more life over here. Are there any that are close to the edge? Not really. I can't get around this thing. I know this one is life. That is not going to cast correctly. And it's probably going to turn. Yep. Yeah, there's no way. Well, we got it stuck on the rock. We're going to have to cut the line on that one. Let me go around this. This is actually kind of a horrible fishing spot. You can't get anywhere near all those fish. Let's try this one. I wish we would like make the wall invisible so you could see through it. Or at least, at least yeah, like see through, I don't know. So you could like see the fish when you have to do something like this. Which happens when the fish is like right along the shore. Life Kuda. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to cut this one too because we're running out of time for this episode and I really want to get this fish caught so that we're done with the Village of Sorrows. So I'm going to try to fish this, uh, fish this fish out in this pond, which makes sense, and we'll be back shortly. Oh wow, we actually caught the grape jellyfish? I didn't even know that it was in this pond. Oh, we caught a new fish that I didn't even realize. <laughs> what type is the grape jellyfish? Let me look at that. Uh, grape jellyfish. Oh, I need to go in the English, Tom. G for grape jellyfish. It's storm. It's not that high of a rank. Yeah, okay, I guess there's a grape jellyfish in here. Well, I think I've basically fished out like this whole thing. Plus, I'm running out of energy. So we may have to do this first thing next episode, unfortunately. Like, this is one of the worst ponds too, because I can't even get over to those areas at all. I know there was an uh, attract fish spell. 
which I may have to pick up. Uh, it depends how much energy it is. If it was like 10 energy, then that's probably not worth it. But yeah, I don't think I can get any of these other fish. Unless I just wait forever and they swim over here. Which is possible, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if we can get one more. If it turns, then we have no chance. It may swim over, I don't know. But yeah, that's probably going to be it for this episode. We did catch five fish that we haven't caught yet, so... We did hit that goal. It wasn't the fish that I, I wanted with the grape jellyfish. But it's cool that we caught it. Marking off our list of fish that we need to catch to finish off Mushu. So, that's going to be it. Um, I'm happy that we caught the boa fish. That was pretty cool. It's an epic fish. I think it was... Did we catch any other epic fish on... No, I think that was the first one that I recorded, you know, on camera during the series. The first epic fish. So... There is that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Leave a like for the amazing Bubba Fish with his awesome hairdo. And I will see you guys next time.